Well, welcome back to my Keto Naturopath Kitchen. Today, I'm so excited. Uh, a week or two ago, I made my cannoli dip. And as I've said, I love cannoli. So today, I'm making a cannoli cake, an Italian cannoli cake. So for the cake, I have six egg yolks in this bowl. I have six egg whites in this bowl. But I'm also going to be using 30 grams of cocoa powder, and I'm using Valrona, which I got off of Amazon. It's a really dark chocolate, and it's really important to use good cocoa powder. So Valrona, I'll put a link in. I also have 62 grams of confectioner's um, xylitol, as I said, I use xylitol. You can use any sweetener you want. And then a teaspoon of vanilla and a half a teaspoon of cocoa powder. Cocoa extract, chocolate extract, whatever. So first we're going to beat the egg yolks until they're light and pale. So now we're gonna gradually add the powdered sweetener until it becomes cream, cream colored. I weighed out 30 gra uh, 62 grams of sweetener, granular sweetener. I put it in a little old coffee grinder, spice grinder, and I made my own powdered sweetener. So if you don't have powdered sweetener, it's easy to make your own. As you can see, this is a, a light cream color, and now we're going to add the 30 grams of cocoa powder. Well, that made a mess. The teaspoon of vanilla, and my half a teaspoon of chocolate extract. And now we're gonna beat that together to incorporate it. Be careful because the cocoa powder is gonna go all over the place. So now I'm gonna wash off my beaters. So the chocolate mixture is, is waiting for the egg white mixture. I have the egg whites in here. Um, I washed off my beater, but uh, normally you don't want any fat on the beaters at all in order to whip up egg whites to a stiff peak. What you can do is wipe it down with a little bit of lemon juice or vinegar to get all the fat off before you start whipping your egg whites. So I'm going to whip these egg whites to a stiff peak. There, now that's at stiff peak as you can see. We fold in the egg whites into the chocolate mixture, like a third at a time. That's a little more than the third. And as I've mentioned before, I used to be really afraid of working with beaten egg whites until I started making my dairy-free, flourless chocolate cake for our birthday. And then also all of the PSMF bread that I make, the cinnamon, the focaccia, the garlic and rosemary. So working with egg whites, beaten, isn't an issue with me anymore. Actually, I think those are more air bubbles. So now... I have my oven heated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to divide this into our two 8 by 8 inch cake pans. I got the, they're still, I'm using silicone pans so that I don't have to grease them or anything if you're using a regular cake pan. Um, either put parchment paper or grease it. So I'm going to try and get this even. Now these are not going to be really high cakes because I want the filling to be the star of the show. 
the cannoli filling. So these are going to go into 350 degree oven for 20 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. So I'm putting these in the oven and then I'm going to be back to show you while they're cooking, I'll show you how to make the cannoli filling. So while the cake is in the oven for the next 20 minutes, I'm going to make the cannoli filling. So this is my cannoli dip and I'm making a whole recipe, which is 16 ounces of regatta. Um, but for this, you probably might only need to make a half a recipe. I'll see this when I'm finished. And then eight, eight ounces of mascarpone cheese. Now, I had a hard time finding mascarpone cheese this time. Last time I, I bought it at Aldi. So I went back to Aldi and I like, where's your mascarpone cheese? And she's like, oh, that's a winter item. We don't have it. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? So I went to our local Harris Teeter and they did have mascarpone cheese, which I was a little surprised at, but very happy. But if you, so if you cannot find mascarpone cheese, um, you can substitute cream cheese, but really mascarpone is better. First, we're going to put the thing in so that they stick. And we're going to just, the eight ounces of mascarpone and the 16 ounces of regatta cheese, we're just going to mix them together. To that, we're going to add 35 grams of powdered sweetener. Again, I use xylitol. You can use whatever you want. You can make your own by just putting granular um, sweetener into a little old coffee mill and also a teaspoon of vanilla. My homemade vanilla is almost ready, so shortly I'll be using my own homemade vanilla. It's been there a year now, so. Okay, now we mix this up really well. You beat it till it's nice and smooth. Now, if I were um, using this as a cannoli dip, I would transfer it to a better bowl, but it's gonna be the filling for my cannoli cake, so I won't be doing that. However, I have to try this. Yesterday, I made egg yolk crepes, so I cannot wait until the cake is done, so I'm taking an egg yolk crepe and I'm making a cannoli crepe. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I love cannoli so much. So I'm gonna put the cannoli filling in the refrigerator when and uh, the cakes are done in about 20 minutes. I will take them out and I'm going to let them cool. So once the cakes are cooled, we'll be back and we'll finish making the cannoli cake. So the cakes are out of the oven. They're completely cooled. And now it's time to assemble the cannoli cake. I, um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I was knew I was going to have cannoli filling. I didn't know what I was going to put on top. So I thought, okay, strawberries are good. And then I'm in an Italian cooking uh, Facebook group. And somebody posted that for Easter, they were making uh, Italian ragotta cake for Easter. And I'm like, oh, but I'm making a cannoli cake for Easter. And they put ganache on it. And I thought, I wasn't going to do ganache because one, I've never made it before. And two, I, I wanted the cannoli filling to be the star of this. But after I saw that they put ganache on top of their regatta cake, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do both strawberries and ganache. So for the ganache, equal weights of heavy cream and cho co chocolate. So I have here, I got this at uh, Big Lots. It's an artisan kettle, organic, 100% chocolate. Hopefully it's good. I've never used it before, um, but I thought I'd use it now. I normally get Ghirardelli because I love Ghirardelli chocolate, but I thought, well, let's try this. So I'm doing one cup of heavy cream 
and which is eight ounces. So I'm doing eight ounces of chocolate. So you chop the chocolate fine and in here you'll see I have it all chopped already. So we have the warm milk, we're just pouring over the chocolate. And we're not going to stir it, we're just going to let it sit for about five minutes. So while that's sitting, we're going to assemble the cake. So as you can see, these cakes are very thin and that's fine. I didn't want thick cakes. Put one cake down, get my cannoli filling. Oh, yum. Oh, yum. Take it to the edges. And I have sliced up some strawberries. I'm just going to put some sliced strawberries on it. You don't have to put strawberries, but it's strawberry season here. So I thought, why not? And that was before I thought I was going to be using the ganache. I thought I'd use strawberries instead of the ganache. And then I decided to use both. We put the other layer on. And I'm going to add a little bit of the cannoli filling to the top as well. Not a lot, just a little. Just as a little frosting. It's been so long since I frosted a cake because we've been keto nine years now and I haven't really made a cake that needed frosting. And you can add more strawberries to the top if you want. I'll add a few more strawberries. And I will be cutting this into nine pieces. So I have nine. So I'm going to start stirring the chocolate for the ganache. The chocolate's not quite all melted yet. There we go. Look at how glossy that's getting. And I don't want, I thought I'd be able to drizzle it on, but that's not going to happen. I didn't want a lot of chocolate. So we'll just add some like frosting, I guess. Well, if, if you did not want to put the extra um, layer of cannoli filling on the top and just did the, cho the chocolate ganache, that would be fine too. And there it is. Doesn't look that pretty, but it's going to taste amazing. So now it's time to taste this. I've cut a piece. As I said, this will make nine pieces. Going great with a cup of coffee. It's going to be a big bite. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Oh, cannoli cake. Yes, great for Mother's Day, Easter, Christmas, great anytime.